What's up, Pro Fighter Sean Fagan here from MuayThaiGuy.com, and today we're doing a five minute warm up shadow boxing workout aimed for Muay Thai beginners. If you like these types of workouts and videos, make sure you like and subscribe so this way you don't miss out on any future workouts. And let's get right to it. Each round is going to be 30 seconds long. Just stay nice and loose. This is a warm up and light workout. Let's get to it. Teep. Check, check, teep. Teep, check, check, teep. Try to keep it nice and flowy, warming up. Teep, check, check, teep. Teep, check, check, teep. Good, a few more seconds. Good solid technique. Alright, next is jab cross moving forwards. Just small steps, keeping your feet underneath you. Same as you're moving back. Jab cross, each punch is a step. Moving forward. And moving backwards. Keeping your hands up nice and tight. Bring them right back to your face. Next round, jab cross, roundhouse. Jab cross, roundhouse. Loosening up those hips. There's a couple ways you can throw the roundhouse. You can do a full 360 or 180, or you can throw it and retract it back. Both are good to practice for balance and defensive purposes. Jab cross, roundhouse. Jab cross, roundhouse. Good defense, good balance, control of the body. Good technique. One more time. Nice. Now jab cross, switch kick. Same concept, jab cross, switch kick. You could either come back into a check, stay balanced, or you can do a full rotation at 180 or 360. Just making sure you're defending and stay in control of your body. Jab cross, switch kick. Jab cross, switch kick. Staying nice and loose, keeping your hands up, relax. One more time, jab cross, switch kick. Next round, jab cross, switch knee. Jab cross, switch knee. You could also make it a hook cross if you like. Switch it up a little bit. Make sure you're flexing your foot on the knee. The knee's going forward. And not just up. Good, a few more times. Hook cross, switch knee. You could also step into the knee as well if you like. Hook cross, switch knee. Now cross hook, rear knee. Cross hook, rear knee. Good, trying to thrust those hips forward, bring that knee straight through. You can follow through or bring it straight back. The key is you have good balance and good control. Keep your hands up, focus on every aspect of your technique, defensive and offensive. One more time, cross hook, rear knee. Next round, jab, teep. Jab, teep. Using your full range, good snappy jabs and snappy teeps. Trying to keep your weight on your back foot, bringing the knee up nice and high for that teep. Jab, teep. Staying relaxed, staying loose. Jab, teep. Time. Jab, teep. Now jab, rear elbow, rear knee. Jab, rear elbow, rear knee. With that elbow, you can act like you're grabbing your opponent's head and pulling them into the knee. Jab, elbow, knee. Jab, elbow, knee. Hands up, especially with the elbows. One more time. Jab, elbow, knee. Nice. Let's go back into the teep, check, check, teep, teep, check, check, teep. Keep it flowy. Keep it moving. Nice and loose. Nice and relaxed. Teep, check, check, teep, check, check, teep. Hands are up. Good technique. 
Don't get lazy with those teeps or those checks. Teep, check, check, teep. One more. Jab cross moving forward. Small steps in control. Now move back. Jab cross, jab cross, jab cross, jab cross. Hands are up. Nice and snappy with your punches. Moving forward. Moving backwards. If you like that workout, you'll definitely love these other follow along workouts as well that are free on my YouTube channel, so make sure you subscribe. But if you want more in a complete program, check out the heavybagblueprint.com for 30 follow along workouts plus a 24 week program and 100 combination tutorials. Just use the code YouTube for a 20% off discount at checkout, and I hope to see you in the next video or inside the heavybagblueprint.com.